So, and welcome back to another episode of Onshape. In this uh, video, we're going to learn how to do a detailed view. If you have something very small and you need to show more detail on it, that's handy. And then also how to do a section view, uh, which is like cutting away a portion of your part and looking at the inside of it. And that's handy if you have um, like a circular feature you need to see inside or a shell a shelled out feature that you need to tell the thickness of the shell, uh, that's handy. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to create a drawing. And ours is an ANSI A millimeter. And we're going to use this body here, the main body. And we want to place our front view. There's our front view. And I need the top view because it's got a hole on top that I need to call out the diameter of. And then I'm also going to project my isometric view up here. Okay. Now, I don't need a right view because I won't get any more extra information. There's no hole on the right side that I need to show. So that's fine. OK. All right. Uh, first things first, I'm going to shade my isometric view. Okay, so that's shaded. And then uh, I need a center mark because uh, my ornament is a ring, so I need a center mark for that. So I'm just going to move my mouse over the outside. And notice it places a center mark right there. That's going to be handy later. And I also need a center mark for this hole on top. So I'm going to place that right there. Okay. Uh, then my outer ring needs a dimension, so let's get that there. And my inner ring needs a dimension, and um, because it's interrupted, it's only wanting to say there's an arc there, so I'm going to edit that and change that to a diameter dimension. And since the diameter is twice the radius, I know that my diameter should be 42, so I'm going to change that to 42. And I'm going to put insert symbol here. I'm going to insert the little diameter symbol. Good. OK, so now I got that. And I got my center mark. Uh, and then I need to tell where this hole is located. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, use my ordinate dimension, click on this very bottom edge, the outside, get that, and place my starting point zero and then dimension the center and then escape okay now um, I would like because I did use a chamfer and I can't really chamfer it here because this is not the exact uh, dimension of the chamfer so what I'm going to do is a section view so I'm going to click on section view and notice I could do a vertical looking sideways but I want uh, horizontal because I want to place uh, my view down here below um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do horizontal call out and this center mark is very handy because now I can place my uh, section view right through the center of my part so click on that and it's gonna I'm gonna move my projection down here Uh, I can move that later if I need to. OK. There we go. And I'm going to move this up a little bit. Notice everything stays aligned because it's a projected view. And there is my section view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So the first thing is I need this chamfer over here. So I'm going to select dimension and chamfer dimension. I'm going to click. If I zoom in, the angled part and the uh, side that's adjacent to it, the original side, and I'm going to place that over here. Boom. OK. Now, I would like to get the detail, the heights of these letters, and the height of the extrusions, and the thickness of um, the ring that I extruded earlier. So uh, in order to do that, Rather than trying to squish everything on, on this 
small section view, I'm going to get a detailed view. So right here, detailed view. I'm going to zoom in. And I need to capture everything over here. So the way a detailed view works, if you notice, it's a circle. So they want you to place where do you want the center of the circle of your detailed view. And right here is fine. And then stretch it out so that your circle includes everything that you want to add detail to. Uh, in this case, this is fine. And then it lets you freely place that detailed view wherever you feel is appropriate. So I'm going to put it right here. OK, so there's my detailed view. Notice it puts a little circle around it. So you know it's, oh, B is where you, I can see the detail on this. And now it's much easier to see for my ordinate dimensioning. So I'm going to start on the bottom here. Give it some space. Here's my next edge. Here's my next edge. I don't need to dimension all these because my chamfer dimensions over here tell me what these are. Okay. So I just need the thickness of the ring. And there. Boom. And I've got it. And we are done.